Here's a guitar I bought off of eBay. It's an OK. Uh, no telling what name it had on it originally, but K made them for a lot of people and put different names on them. But you can tell from the shape of it and the way the bridge is made and the neck and inlays and stuff that it's, a, it's made by K. And now I don't know what possessed me to buy this thing. I guess the sun burst on it, I don't know. Does the neck need resetting? There's no tension on it. You reckon that? You reckon that needs a neck reset? It's supposed to be up here on the top. It's about a quarter inch off. Here's the old top that came out of this thing. And it's plywood. And I wasn't too impressed with it. It's got a 1X brace and a front brace and this one behind it. Bridge plate looks like it's spruce. Or maybe even cedar, I don't know. But we braced this thing at the top. Come from a Martin and a put in it. Here's the old fingerboard. That thing's so thick. It's hard to get it hot enough. It's Brazilian rosewood. But uh, had these uh, big inlays in it. They were that... Uh, Plastic stuff it melted out when you heated it up, but uh, here's the here's the top I made for this thing and uh, got it finished and braced it similar to a Martin, kind of changed it up a little bit. Here's the neck with the fingerboard clamped on it. This is a fingerboard I got from Larry Mathis with a, with a bunch of parts that I got several years ago from him. Well, there's the fingerboard unclamped. Fingerboard's got a little flaw in it, but we'll correct that. Now, I don't know if I had this thing going over here a while ago or not when I showed this top but I untaped it got some black spots on the back here's the truss rod that came out of that neck wasn't much didn't go all the way to the end of the fingerboard. And I questioned whether it was any stronger than the wood they cut out of it myself. But We put some carbon fiber uh, rods in the neck back in that slot. Here we are uh, shaping this uh, fingerboard to the neck. And it's... Uh, I'm not going to say it's impossible to do that without refinishing this neck, but uh, this old neck was pretty pretty bad shape to start out with, so uh, we're going to at least finish part of it. Here we are working on this neck. We've uh, scraped and sanded the finish off of it. Here's the fingerboard. We had a little bad place we had to repair and we put some uh, CA glue and some uh, ebony dust in it. Here are the inlays. We just put them back like the K had in it. Side dots. Well, here's the neck. Uh, 
just sit down in the slot. We got to go through the procedure of uh, putting a bridge on there and getting the set of the neck right. So. But there it is, sitting up there as it's going to go. Here's the neck after I've got the finish on it. Uh, I think it'll work pretty good. Here's the neck <coughs> glued in. Here's the guitar with the neck and the body put together. Here's my little uh, homemade tool to measure the scale with. Just two pieces of plastic, the same length. First one goes to the 12th fret. The second one should line up with the front edge of the saddle on the first string. Here's a little piece of plastic that I've already cut. Laid the bridge down on it that I'm going to use on this project and cut around it where it'll fit down in there. Pretty simple. Now we've got this, uh, <clears throat> this piece of plastic positioned where we want it. We lay the straight edge down alongside the fingerboard and we observe where it comes out on the outside string. We get it even on both sides. And we lay our other thing up here on the 12th fret. <clears throat> We position it at the first fret, at the first string, excuse me. <clears throat> and I like to have the saddle just behind that. Uh, if you're off any, it's been my experience, you're better to be off back toward the tail end than you are to be sharp. So that's how we position that. Now I'll tape, the, tape this plastic down. And I'll scrape the finish off right up to the edge of the plastic. We got the bridge uh, cleaned off underneath it. And uh, here's our ebony bridge. It, it's an old Martin takeoff. That, and I've got a, uh, a little tool here that I made. It's uh, compensated for the bridge plate. And it goes up under here. Got slots cut out for the X braces, and it just gives you something. Uh, I got some of these rare earth magnets to hold it on here. That keeps it from coming out. Now I've got a my mirrors down in there and a light, and you can. Kind of see my X braces I put in this thing. Uh, can't see the bridge plate, but but that's the uh, that's the jig that goes inside the guitar. I I made that. I had a book from uh, Martin Company, and it showed how to make that. Here's the uh, the dry fit. Uh, as you can see, I've got three Delrin pieces and uh, the two outside ones are shaped to fit the bridge and the center one is just flat and I got a marked base and treble and uh, I like to use three clamps all right we got the fish glue on it got it down in there 
where it belongs. Now we're going to take these magnets off. One thing I don't like about these magnets, they'll paint your finger badly. Now we're going to remove this plastic. It's a one-use deal. We cut a new piece of plastic for every bridge we put on there. I know they're mostly the same, but I want to be certain that the The bridge fits this piece of plastic. Now we throw the plastic away. And we've got room to clean this glue, squeeze that off. Here's a shot of the top. Been doing some polishing on it. Here's the big guard installed. Here we are uh, fitting the saddle to the bridge. And this is a blanket I buy. It's bone. And uh, it's about uh, 125 thousandths of an inch thick. And my slot that I cut is about 120. First thing I'll do is round the corners of the saddle off and get them the right length. And then I'll, I'll use my disc sander to thin it down and use these calipers to kind of measure how I'm doing with it. And get it where it fits down in here good and snug. We're now drilling the, we've already drilled the holes, 3 16 hole through the new top and the new bridge plate with a backing piece of wood behind it to keep from tearing the out where it comes through the other side. <coughs> and uh, so here's a five degree taper and we're going to taper these holes. All right, now they're fitting. <coughs> I usually uh, <clears throat> keep these bridge pins arranged by the number of strings that they're in. And I've got a little uh, tool here to bevel that thing with if I can find it. So now what I'll do, and I'm not going to show this, but uh, I take a little real fine uh, carbide tool and I cut some little ramps going toward the saddle. South Carolina I'm 
I'm getting the feel. I'm getting 